Coup is a fun board game for three to six players, where players try to overthrow all of their political opponents by becoming the only player with any influence cards left. To set the game up, place the coin tokens in the middle of the table and give two of them to each player. Then give each player a copy of the summary card. This lists the available actions, effects, and counteractions for each character in the game. Shuffle the influence cards and deal two to each player face down. The influence cards feature five characters. Each character can perform a unique action and or counteraction. The Duke can take taxes and block foreign aid. The Assassin can take out another influence card. The Captain can steal two coins from another player. The Ambassador can swap influence cards for a fresh set and block the Captain's attempts to steal. And the Contessa can block assassination attempts. The player to the left of the dealer goes first, and play goes clockwise. Every turn in coup consists of one, and only one, action. There are three basic actions that all players can choose from. First, a player may take an income by taking one coin from the bank and placing it in their pile. This cannot be challenged or blocked. Second, a player may opt for foreign aid and attempt to take two coins from the bank. This cannot be challenged, but it can be blocked by the Duke. Third, a player may perform a coup by paying seven coins to the bank, and this removes an opponent's influence card. This cannot be blocked or challenged. If a player starts their turn with 10 coins, they are required to take the coup action automatically. Players can choose to perform one of their special actions listed on their influence cards, but here's the catch. Since all of the influence cards are face down, players can lie about which ones they have and carry out actions on any influence card, even if they don't have that card. However, every action, except the coup and income actions, can be challenged. A player may challenge any action before it's carried out, and the player being challenged must prove they have the influence card that matches the action that they're attempting to perform. If they do, they reveal their influence card face up to the other players, perform the action, and draw a new influence card. The player who challenged them loses one of their influence cards. However, if the player being challenged doesn't have the card they need or they choose not to reveal it, the challenge is successful. Their action is blocked and they lose one of their influence cards. Once a player has lost both of their influence cards, they are out of the game. The last player standing wins.